If I work with Power Apps long enough, I'm pretty sure you have seen delegation warning when you are connecting some of these functions like filter to a data source. It can be like SharePoint, Dataverse, SQL, or anything else. It doesn't really matter. If you have seen this warning, I'm not sure what your reaction is. Did you really dig into it and see what's going on? Or you say, hey, you know what, my database is not that big, but how big is too big for the delegation? And what happens if you just ignore it? Should you ignore it or you need to really dig into it and try to resolve it? Let's say you try to resolve it and you say, yeah, hopefully nothing will happen. How do you enable the testers to validate your work? and see if you have done a good job when it comes to delegation and your app will not fail or at least doesn't act funky after a few months. Finally, are all delegation warnings visible? Did you know that there are some delegation warnings inside Power Apps that Power Apps doesn't really show you? So actually there is a delegation issue. When the data grows beyond a certain limit, uh, your app does not function properly, but unfortunately, or maybe it's something in progress that Microsoft is working on it, some functions do not work properly when the database grows beyond a certain number and Power Apps does not show you any warning. Are you aware of that? Did you know such a thing exists? These are the questions that I've answered in my latest course on Udemy called How to Fix Power Apps Delegation Warning. It's not all about fixing it, but I cover everything that you need to know. And I also cover when it's time to update your resume and move to another company when you are getting close to the real issues with the delegation warning that you ignored in your app. I know what you're waiting for. Yes, here on the screen, there is the free course coupon. It's available only for two days. By the way, by the end of February, 2023, if you have completed uh, Power Apps Table Functions course, I actually go through all the records of my students. By then, anybody who has completed the Power Apps Table Function course, will automatically get a free course coupon for the delegation warning. I leave the rest to you. You know what to do and where to go. I'm waiting for your feedback on the course reviews.